on? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Yarn Bees, Crochet Bee here. I guess it's been a while since you've heard my last tale from the carpet trail, so I thought, well, um, today's actually my birthday. I turned 59 today, so how better to celebrate my birthday than to have another tale from the carpet trail for all you guys. So, um, I guess if people were to ask me if I could have one thing for my birthday, what would it be? Well, that's that one's pretty easy. It would be that my poor beautiful Sandy wouldn't be in so much pain. It's really tough to uh, watch her going through all of this. She's doing her best to put a brave face on. Today she actually um, snuck out after I went to work and went to the grocery store to buy me something to make for my special birthday dinner which was really sweet because it was really hard for her to do and uh, now she's hurting pretty good so she's probably going to have one of her extra strong painkillers so uh, anyway what's in my cup today I'd like to say it's whiskey but I drank it all yesterday so it's just ginger ale today I'm trying to um, keep my drinking a little bit under control so I've decided that I'm not going to buy any more booze before Friday of any given week so if I manage to uh, drink it all over the weekend too bad I got to go for a few days without which is probably not necessarily a bad thing so anyway even though my uh, cup says conserve water drink whiskey um, we're not drinking whiskey today it's just ginger ale straight up I'll try to keep it under control anyway um, so if you've been following along with some of my Tales from the Carpet Trail, you've noticed I've told some stories about uh, some uh, some famous people, some interesting people. You heard about the, the centaurs and uh, the inventor of the waspinator. But I want to tell you a story about uh, one of the most famous people that I've actually met while I've done this job. So, uh, like I've said before, Nanaimo is an interesting island. There's all sorts of people here that you at least suspect that... Uh, that are famous and doing other things and they're kind of hiding out here and living their life and uh, this is kind of a story like that so uh, about two years ago I was sitting at home and I on a Saturday morning and I got a phone call uh, from a fellow who lives in uh, one of the I'm not going to tell you exactly where he lives because you may not want people to know where he's at but he lives in one of the, the many uh, mobile home parks uh, in and around the city of Nanaimo so uh, we've got quite a few of those so he called me up to tell me that um, his son had been over visiting the day before and uh, they had had dinner together a few drinks and what have you so he decided he would go off to bed and uh, when he woke up he had found that his one son's wonderful dog had kind of pooped all over the place inside his mobile home so he wanted to know if I could come up and clean this uh, for him, there's before rooms of carpet to do. So I said, sure. So uh, I drove up where he was living was about an hour out of town. So I drove up there and uh, nice, nice guy in a, a nice mobile home park. Very nice. Um, you know, not run down no trailer park or anything. They're all newer mobile homes and stuff, but it is a mobile home park. Anyway, um, he says to me, well, I'm just going to... Um, to leave you to uh, the job. I'm just going to leave my key here. You can lock the door and put it under the mat. And he says, I'll write you a check if that's okay. So I said, sure. So he said, did you want a, um, a company check or a personal check? And I said, well, it doesn't really matter. It's all good. He says, fine, I'll write you a company check. And um, he writes me this check. And uh, and then he leaves. So I, I take a look at the check, and the check says um, Rolling River Film Production Company. And I'm thinking, oh, that's interesting. So I get working away, and I'm cleaning and whatever, and, and as I tend to do a lot when I'm working, I kind of look around, and I like to look at the uh, family photos that people have put up, and different knickknacks of things they might have, and or things that they collect. It's always interesting to me, because Almost everybody collects something, whether it's uh, spoons or knives or um, stamps. Or um, a lot of people do elephants. Other people do unicorns. But uh, this guy had a number of 
of these funny looking uh, trophies. So I get over and I take a look at these trophies and we're going to insert a photo here of the trophies. So have a look at this one and then have a look at this one. And if you look really closely, you'll notice that this one trophy is a Gemini Award. A Gemini Award is like the Canadian television uh, version of the Emmy Awards. And the other award is a Cable Ace Award, uh, which is um, was the early awards for the early cable days when cable uh, first started in a big way. And I look and I realize, holy smokes! I recognize this guy's name and his name is Brent Carl Claxon and Brent Carl Claxon was the longtime producer of the Outer Limits TV show that used to be filmed out of Vancouver so I am a huge um, Outer Limits fan I love all those shows of course the Twilight Zone Outer Limits Outer Limits was probably the Second most popular one of all time after the Twilight Zone. It was on in the old black and white days in the States and then it was remade um, in the 80s and 90s uh, out of Vancouver. They had a number of new episodes as well. And I'm just like, wow, I can't believe it. I didn't know who this guy is. And he's a big Hollywood TV producer. And why on earth is he living in a trailer park on Vancouver Island? It was just amazing. So, anyway, I did the job, I locked the door, I went home, and the next morning, I get a phone call, and it's from Mr. Claxon, and he says, I just wanted to phone to thank you very much uh, for the wonderful job you did, the carpets looked really good, and I said, um, Mr. Claxon, I had no idea who you were, I'm just a huge fan of, your, of The Outer Limits, I think I've seen every episode a million times, he says, oh, thank you very much, I says, yeah, what a great show. I said, that was on for quite a long time, eh? And he says to me, yeah, I had a really nice career uh, in Vancouver. He said, I produced The Outer Limits uh, for nine years out of Vancouver. And before that, I produced another show uh, for 12 years out of Vancouver you might have heard of. And I said, what show was that? And he says, Highlander. And I was like, oh! Oh my god, Highlander! I'm like the biggest Highlander fan ever! There can be only one! So, I was just like, holy smokes! So, I mean, I wanted to ask him, like, why are you living in a trailer park? But well, you can't do that, of course. So I was saying, like, so what are you doing up now? And he says, oh, I'm kind of retired. I'm, I'm living a fairly quiet life. I'm writing a book. I still get people send me movie scripts and stuff. I still got my fingers in it a little bit, but for the most time, most part... I'm retired and I was just like I could not believe that I had been in this guy's house and seen the actual Gemini Awards for uh, the Stitch in Time episode of The Outer Limits and best cable show The Outer Limits and it was just like wow so it just goes to show you that you A you can't judge a book by its cover and B you just never know who you're going to meet out there on the carpet trail. So that's my story for this time. I hope you guys liked it. Um, Sandy's going to do her editing magic and insert the photos so you can see the uh, the awards from this and you'll know that it's actually a true story. So anyway, uh, thank you all. Um, Sandy is hopefully on the mend and getting better, but you know we're in for uh, some rough months coming up, especially when she gets her foot surgery. So um, keep a good thought out for us. If any of you would like to come and visit Nanaimo at Christmas time and help me cook the turkey dinner, that would be really awesome because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and I can use all the help that I can get. So this might be the first ever crock pot turkey dinner in, in the history of Christmas. But we'll, we'll see. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Anyway, we'll see you next time. I won't do the moo 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 that Sandy's thing. I'll just say bye.